Good evening. Thank you all for coming. Um, my name is Ian Duhigg. I'm the Chair of the Judges. I'm not going to be on for long at all. The real stars of the evening are the poets. Ian McMillan will come there. But I'm going to read to remind us all in whose name we do this, uh, a poem by T.S. Eliot. I looked at various ones, and I suppose the journey of the Magi, because of the weather, inevitably recommended itself. Um, I think also it's the first poem young people read when they come into Eliot. Um, and although it has this religious theme, I suppose it's important for me is this sense whereby you lose all your guiding lights, your old gods, your old faiths. That happens to me in poetry a lot. That's what's so exciting about it. Some of the poets I've looked at recently have done that for me. They've made me think everything I thought I knew about poetry has to be questioned again. It's been a revelation about the words in the most profound way. Um, and you go back after you read a, a dramatic new poem um, and, and nothing is the same for you after that. And I suppose the Magi in those circumstances, not really understanding what they witnessed, but knowing it is enormously significant is why um, I chose it. The Journey of the Magi. A cold coming we had of it, just the worst time of the year for a journey, and such a long journey. The ways deep and the weather sharp, the very dead of winter. And the camels galled, sore-footed, refractory, lying down in the melting snow. There were times we regretted the summer palaces on slopes, the terraces and the silken girls bringing sherbet, then the camel men cursing and grumbling and running away and wanting their liquor and women and the night fires going out and the lack of shelters and the cities hostile and the towns unfriendly and the villages dirty and charging high prices. A hard time we had of it. At the end, we preferred to travel all night, sleeping in snatches, with the voices singing in our ears, saying that this was all folly. Then, at dawn, we came down to a temperate valley, wet, below the snow line, smelling of vegetation, with a running stream and a water mill beating the darkness, and three trees on the low sky, and an old white horse galloped away in the meadow. Then we came to a tavern with vine leaves over the lintel, six hands at an open door, dicing the pieces of silver and feet kicking the empty wineskins. But there was no information, and so we continued, and arriving at evening, not a moment too soon, finding the place, it was, you might say, satisfactory. All this was a long time ago, I remember, and I would do it again, but set down this, set down this, were we led all that way for birth or death? There was a birth, certainly. We had evidence and no doubt. I had seen birth and death, but thought they were different. This birth was hard and bitter agony for us, like death, our death. We return to our places, these kingdoms, but no longer at ease here in the old dispensation with an alien people clutching their gods. I should be glad of another death. Thank you. Ian McMillan will now take over.